In recent research from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Mexican food has increased in popularity and Americans are now eating four times more of it than 20 years ago. How many of you like Mexican food? My favorite. All right. <laughs> uh, today I'm going to show you how to make taco soup. It's one of my favorite recipes and it's similar to one I found in Country Woman magazine. Um, the best thing about it is that it's inexpensive, quick to make, and it feeds anywhere from 4 to 20 people. It's great for Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> so now I'm going to show you the materials that you'll need, how to mix the ingredients, and how to cook it. Okay, so for your shopping list, you're going to need two pounds of fresh lean ground beef, one onion, two cans of whole kernel corn, four cans of diced tomatoes, one can of pinto beans, and one can of kidney beans, a taco seasoning packet, and a ranch seasoning packet. Uh, that some optional items that you can get are cilantro. With adding cilantro is optional, but um, an article written in Modesto Bee magazine in 2010 says cilantro is to Mexican food what fuel is to a race car. It's an absolute essential item. <laughs> Um, some shredded cheese and some tortilla tips and sour cream. The things you will need are a can opener, a Dutch oven pan, or a crock pot is what I use, a can opener, and a chopping knife. So I brought some of the ingredients. Here's some cilantro. Half a cup is what you'll need. Kidney beans, diced tomatoes. Brought my empty can since I made it last night. <laughs> Two packet of ranch, packet of taco seasoning. I actually accidentally bought the Fiesta Ranch, which made it way better because <laughs> it's Mexican. One onion and some green chilies, diced. So first, what you want to do is chop your onion and your cilantro if you're going to add the cilantro into your meal. Uh, brown the hamburger until it's no longer red and you're gonna drain the grease and add your onion and brown that with it to soften it up. Open all your canned vegetables. Make sure you do not drain the juice. Um, it adds all the liquid that you want and gives it a lot of flavor. And you're gonna dump all the remaining ingredients into your pan. A uh, few recipes that I ran into called for, um, I just used the petite diced tomatoes. Some of them call for like the Mexican stewed tomatoes. You could use whole tomatoes. It's up to you. You can do a variety of whatever you want really to make it more Mexican. You can add chili powder, um, hot peppers, jalapenos. If you like it spicy, I don't like spice. So <laughs> my husband loves it. So when you have it all into the bowl, you're gonna stir it together. You're gonna bring it to a boil and then you're gonna turn it down to low and let it simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes. I put it in my crock pot, let it cook all day. It's easy, you can set it and forget it. And then you can serve it. Um, another similar recipe found in Betty Crocker magazine, the soup, stews, and chilies was a winning recipe for a chili cook-off. So it's a very popular recipe. The only difference and that one was it had sugar in it, so it made it a little bit sweeter. Um, who's going to want to try my taco soup? <laughs> okay. Bring it on. Bring it on. I've been waiting all week for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to actually bring it over to here and let you guys kind of dish up because I don't want to touch your food. <laughs> Soup. 
shredded cheese and sour cream. And I like to add Fritos. Or you can do tortilla chips. And you can make it pretty by setting them around. <laughs> so, um, makes a lot, but you can always, I also wanted to tell you, it freezes for up to three months. So if you make a lot, you can throw it in the freezer and make it a week or two later, a month later. Now I've told you what materials you're needed, how to mix the ingredients, and how to cook taco soup.